my name is Lena, I'm a graphic designer and this is my channel for beginners in Adobe Illustrator and in a graphic design. I have been working as a graphic designer for 11 years and I have more than 10,000 designs in my portfolio. And today I'm going to talk with you, do you need drawing skills to be a graphic designer and how you can draw everything in Adobe Illustrator. And if you're interested, please keep watching. In the beginning, I want to answer to the main question of this video. Do you need drawing skills to be a graphic designer? And the answer is no. Guys, before I start to talk with you how I draw everything what I want in Adobe Illustrator without drawing skills, I'm going to show you some of my designs. I pick Christmas and New Year theme because now it's time of these holidays and all my designs were created without any sketches. Okay guys, you saw my designs, hope you like it and what's the main thing in drawing those designs? And of course, it's an idea. You will ask how idea and drawing connected with each other. Now I'm going to explain everything with help of examples. Here you see four my Santa Clauses. In common, they are pretty similar. They're in classical costume with white beard and they're pretty old. But any of them has his own individuality. For example, let's select this Santa Claus. When I have been started to create it, I wanted he will be short and cute and fat and pretty classical with huge gold belt on his stomach. And it was an idea in my head and when I went to Pinterest. This one of the best inspiration websites for me and you can find here an inspiration on any theme. And what I'm doing? I'm writing my theme in the search and inspired by many illustrations, designs and videos. Guys, I want to say it's okay to be inspired by something. All famous designers and artists all the time say that they're inspired by, the, for example, fashion of 80s or 20s and any designer need to be inspired to create something unique and awesome. And boring guys, it's good to be inspired, but bad to copy someone's design. and how I am inspired by something. In my head I already know what I want to see and I start to search in something familiar. For example, here I like the head and here I like the nose and here I like the eyes and with help of these details I create my own designs. You can search uh, by the illustrations, it uh, will be maybe more useful for you as for beginners. So you see here 
a lot of illustration with a lot of details and any detail you like in one uh, illustration or in the other illustration and it will be uh, in the end your own design your own unique and awesome design let's return to my santa claus when you have an idea and an inspiration now you need a logic what does it mean in the left you see my santa claus and in the right you see details with which consisted of my santa claus head it's an ellipse and triangle eyes it's some ellipses the body legs hands it's all simple geometric tools and only moustache were found in internet and created with pen tool. And people see your design and they see Santa Claus. But when you want to create something, your eyes need to see what details you need to create it. So guys, you can create a lot of designs with simple shapes and you need just logic. If you need some details what you can't create with simple tools, you can do it with pen tool. And what we understood, we need an idea, an inspiration and a logic. And the last but one of the main is good knowledge of Adobe Illustrator. Let me show to you some easy examples what can blow your mind if you didn't know it. Here guys we have simple rectangle. Let's turn it like this and we need now anchor point 2. Select for example here middle, hold shift and move it like me. And here hold shift and move it like me. Ok, now we have here not just rectangle but the heart and you can make here the corner more smoother select direct selection tool and move it a little up like this or like this i like that way so guys here our heart and what what can you do more Again, our rectangle, select it, effect, transform, and select this one. Ok, and let's play with options, select here, no too much, select here. Ok, here we have very cute and simple flower. Let's select, for example, yellow color and ellipse tool. Let's draw here ellipse and voila, we have flower. Guys, maybe you're now a little angry and don't understand where you can learn logic to understand what details you need to create designs. Of course, with that you can help only tutorials. Hope you know what I have a lot of tutorials on my channel and now you see one of them. Here you see a gingerbread man and the main details were created only with help of three rectangles and one ellipse. Now you see my tutorials. Most of them consist of simple geometric tools. So guys, you don't need to have drawing skills to be a graphic designer. You need to have only good logical thinking and great illustrator skills. The main guys, idea, inspiration, logic, good Adobe Illustrator skills and you can draw everything. Ok guys, that's all for today, hope I can explain you that the main thing in every design is an idea. And of course, this idea is the main way to your design. And one more guys, if you like this video, please give me a like 
and subscribe. And see you in the next videos about a graphic design and in the next tutorials in Adobe Illustrator. Bye bye guys. Bye.